Good morning, it's Wednesday the 8th, I'm FX Plu and this is the Market Brief. So the idea that the UK will leave the EU on Jan 31st is a bit of a false friend. We will of course remain subject to most of the trade regulation until a new deal is agreed and the UK will also contribute or continue to contribute to the EU budget during that transitionary period. So where Boris Johnson has added that DEC 31st trade deal deadline to the bill which we expect to get voted through on Thursday, it's actually a neat little backstop to ensure that Brussels doesn't drag its feet to stay on the UK payroll. I mean of course we all want to get the deal done so we can all move on from Brexit too, but what's that good old saying in, in startup land? Cash flow is king. So what does that mean with the uh, the trade, you know, the regulations, the budget, budget contributions um, and all of the other elements that still need to be agreed. Well, it probably means that Jan 31st is largely an irrelevance and December 31st is when we officially leave. So there you go, a nice positive spin so the Remainers can start 2020 with the warm and fuzzies. All part of the service. Anyway, away from politics, sterling continues to be driven by the dollar risk appetite and the pound briefly crossed over 132 again uh, yesterday against the dollar. Um, there is, of course, an update from the Gulf. Iran has duly followed up uh, after huge mobs of angry citizens were calling for immediate reprisals after their funeral yesterday. Iran has launched more than a dozen ballistic missiles at air bases in Iraq that were housing US forces. Uh, Washington's response has been fairly muted so far. It's been unclear if there are, have been any casualties in that attack. Uh, as you'd expect, Trump got onto Twitter. He tweeted to say that all was well, saying casualties and damage were both being assessed. Risk appetite, of course, remains a little bit shaky, but there is a chance that this now may improve slightly, uh, unless, of course, there is further incident to follow. In a slightly more positive news, uh, rumours started that phase two of the China trade talks may start as early as the end of February. Euro dollar remains in a relatively narrow range driven of course by dollar movements and yesterday we saw it trade down to 111.40. That's it from me, have a great day, I'll see you tomorrow.